nothing comforting like spaghetti carbonara made with eggs and pecorino cheese and the sauce is you know infused with pancetta which is you know cured Italian pork belly and then the amazing sauce simmered slowly it's fantastic oh my goodness look at that can't wait to dig in there hi friends I am gastro guru and welcome to gastro guru kitchen <music> Friends, today for you I'm going to be preparing a classic Italian dish, spaghetti carbonara. So spaghetti carbonara, you know, it's made with obviously spaghetti, you know, you, you cook it per instruction of the packet for about 11 minutes or so. And then what you do is, you know, you uh, cook it with a sauce, which is made by beating eggs and adding pecorino cheese. Some people like to add Parmesan cheese. I like Pecorino Romano, so I'm going to add that. And then what we're going to do is that in a, a big frying pan or a saucepan, we're going to be, you know, cutting and cooking some pancetta, which is Italian pork belly. It's cured with salt and pepper. Uh, some people like using, you know, Giancale. I like to cook it with pancetta, and that's my personal preference. And so let's go with the ingredients and then, you know, we can start cooking. All right. It's going to be a fantastic dish. All right. So let's quickly go over, you know, the ingredients. She got about four eggs that we're going to eat a beat with the egg yolk, about two cups of pecorino Romano cheese. Like I said, some people like to use it with Parmesan or blend. I like it, you know, the flavor and the taste of pecorino Romano. Okay. And you know, about 300 grams of spaghetti that will be soon boiling for about 11 minutes. And then here I have the pancetta, which is cured Italian pork belly. So I had it sliced from the butcher and then we're going to cut strips into that. Right. And so we'll be cooking the pasta in that. And then obviously we have salt and black pepper. Right. So step one, let's go and start boiling our uh, spaghetti. All right, friends, so to cook our spaghetti, here I have a large pot with boiling water. And to that, I'm gonna be adding some salt. So, you know, we want the pasta water to be nice and salty, all right? So that's about a tablespoon of salt in there. And then what we're gonna do is add about 300 grams of spaghetti, dry spaghetti to it. And we're gonna cook it for about 11 minutes, all right? So while our spaghetti is boiling, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start cutting our pancetta into strips and then we'll be cooking that, all right? All right, so here we have our pancetta. It looks awesome. I had it sliced you know, by the butcher and so we're gonna Cut it into thin strips, okay? We're gonna do it nice and slow because this is like really nice and tender and fresh. So you gotta be careful, otherwise it'll become very fragmented. So there you have it. So we have slice these strips of in a pancetta and now we're gonna cook that, right? All right, friends. So to cook our Italian pancetta, which is cured pork belly. We are going to add that to a cold pan. Okay. I'm going to be adding strips of that to a cold pan. Yeah. If it's hot, it's not going to, you know, cook well. So we're going to cook it nice and slow on low heat. And you'll see that it's going to render all its, you know, delicious you know flat you know fat and liquid and that's the base for which in which we're going to be cooking our spaghetti carbonara all right all right so we're going to just let this be 
let me cook by itself on low. In the meantime, what we are going to do is we are going to start making our cream, the carbonara cream. All right, friends. So to make our carbonara cream, we're going to break four eggs in a large bowl, one at a time, obviously. That's two. Three. Some people, you know, just like to use egg whites. Some like to use half and half. You know, but I like to use eggs with, you know, yolk. And wash the eggs quickly. And then, with the help of a fork, we're gonna start beating the eggs. All right. We're gonna beat the eggs. They all break down, and we get them nice and homogenized. A kind of creamy. All right. I'm going to make sure that it's completely beaten. No shortcuts because if it's lumpy, the cream's not going to be smooth and the spaghetti carbonara is not going to look good. You know, the sauce will be all kind of curdly. It might even become scrambled eggs, which is what we don't want, right? Right, so this is mixed nicely. So next thing I'm going to add to that is two cups of the Pecorino Romano cheese, right? And so that's in. Now what we're going to do is mix that in. But before we do that. And we'll add a lot of crushed black pepper. And this recipe and Italians love a lot of crushed black pepper in their sp spaghetti carbonara. Okay? Alright. So now we're going to continue beating this until it becomes nice and creamy and all the cheese becomes part of the egg mixture. Let me see where I'm going with this. All right. I'm going to make it nice and smooth. You see how it's looking? I want to make sure there's no lumps and that the eggs are totally homogenized and mixed nicely with the Pecorino Romana cheese. All right. It's, it's got to be nice, smooth, and creamy. Next step. What are we going to do? is that we're going to add some hot pasta water. So I'm going to go around All right. So what we're going to do is add the salty pasta water, one ladle to our pecorino and egg mixture. And we'll stir it quickly because we don't want the eggs to curdle and become scrambled eggs. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Look at that, how awesome that looks. That's the cream we want. I'm going to stir it nicely. Oh yeah, that's looking fantastic. Now what we're going to do is, when we come back, once our spaghetti is cooked, we're going to start you know, adding all these things to the pan with the pancetta. All right, friends. So as you can see, our pancetta is nice and crisp. And, you know, you can see how awesome it looks. It smells fantastic. So what we're going to do now is add our spaghetti, you know, into the pan. Spaghetti, you know, we cook it for 11 minutes as uh, al dente. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect. Now. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to ladle in some pasta water so that, you know, it's nice and yummy, the flavor. And again, we're cooking at, right now, low flame, low heat, all right? So, have that in here, plus water, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the cream. Now, before I add the cream, we're gonna add one level of salty pasta water to our egg and pecorino cheese cream also, all right? We're gonna quickly stir it. That's gonna go in here. Oh yeah, it's smelling fantastic already. All the nice little bit of the goodness in the pan. All right. And then what we're gonna do is quickly, we're gonna start mixing the cream with the spaghetti and it's also going to pick up all the salty you know fatty flavors from the pancetta that we have been you know cooking see the whole idea of this is to make sure that our egg cream doesn't become scrambled eggs so we're quickly tossing and turning and what we're gonna do is, once the cream, the sauce becomes thick, we're gonna plate it. All right, friends, so we have plated our spaghetti carbonara. It looks amazing. And we're just gonna hit it a little bit with some crushed black pepper. And there you have it, our fantastic spaghetti carbonara with the creamy sauce made with eggs and pecorino cheese and then we had the pancetta cooking so it looks amazing tastes fantastic so be sure to check out my recipe on my youtube channel gastro guru and be sure to like share and subscribe there are many awesome recipes on there all right so thank you very much and bon appetit